welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine, kind of. I accidentally didn't film the um, foundation portion of the video, so basically I'm going to be showing you my everyday eye makeup and lip routine, um, so to speak, because that's all I got on video. So if you like this makeup look, it's super classic and easy, it takes two seconds to do. Okay, not two seconds, but it looks like you spent like a lot of time on your makeup because you've got the bold lip, you've got the winged eyeliner, you're looking classy, but you really didn't spend that much time at all on your makeup, then this is probably the makeup tutorial for you. So if you want to see how I did this, then keep on watching and I'll see y'all. So I already screwed up and for some reason I didn't hit the record button so I could record my face routine. So I'm just going to do the eye portion of this makeup look with the lip and um, cause I'm a ding dong. Yeah, I'm a ding dong. So on my face already I have applied my um, primer which I just used my Professional from Benefit and then um, my foundation is my favorite combo right now. Um, it's my MAC Mineralize and then my NARS Sheer Glow. And then um, I use a beauty sponge to apply that. Um, I do my contouring and so on and so forth. I use my NYX Highlight and Contour Powder. And to seal the deal with everything, I use my MAC, my MAC, my Makeup Forever um, Finishing Powder. And then um, for a blush, I used Paradise from NYX. Now for the eye portion, I am going to be taking my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and I'm going to prime my eyes. So I need a nice base color for my entire lid since there's not going to be a lot of different eyeshadows and depth and dimension and so on and so forth. So I need a good base eye color canvas piece thing and I'm going to be taking Stiletto from NYX with a fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to lightly dust this over the whole lid area. And of course we're going to need a highlight color so I'm going to be taking from my Urban Decay Naked 3 palette and taking Strange again with a fluffy shading brush because I want everything to be soft and um, nothing to be harsh and um, kind of like that barely there makeup going on. So I'm just highlighting below my brow and here in the inner corner of my eye very quickly just to open that up. If you see from one side to the other, this one's a little bit more open. And my ultimate favorite eyeshadow, I think of all time, which is Cork from MAC. I'm gonna take that again with the fluffy shading brush and I am going to begin dusting this in my crease and this is just going to give some depth to our eye. Now I'm going to quickly fill in my eyebrows and I'm using my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Dip in dark brown. Oh shoot, there's glitter on there. Oh well shoot, what am I going to do? There's glitter on this and I can't get it off. I forgot to put glitter on the other day. I was just glittering it up, just living my life glittering around, just living it and just glittering. So the next is going to be the eyeliner portion and I'm using my favorite Glam Eyes by Ramel and I'm going to create the winged eyeliner look. Now to brighten up the inner corners and the water line of my eye, I am going to be using my NYX Wonder Pencil and I'm just going to line my lower lash line and then gently bring this in the inner corner of my eye. Next, take your favorite mascara or false lashes and apply them to your lashes. But I'm going to be using my Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara 
and I am going to apply two to three coats to my top lashes and then just one single coat to my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to take my favorite highlighter and that is my Hourglass Ambient Light and I am going to highlight the planes of my face. This is one of the last things I do because it also helps to brush away any fallout from anything else that we've used that you may not want on your face. And the ultimate tool in this makeup look, which we've done all of this and it's super easy and simple and you just need that lip to make it bold. So I'm going to be using Wicked from Lime Crime. This is my absolute favorite red lipstick of all time. The color on it, the pigment, the last, the everything, I am in love. So we're going to apply that now. And that is it. That is the finished makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Any comments or questions, you know what to do. Leave them down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button up top. Don't forget to follow me on my Facebook. All that different stuff. I already told you that. What am I saying right now? What is happening? What is going on? I don't even know. If you want to see how I did this hairstyle right her, there is also going to be a video for that. I'll leave that little linky linky down below too. And I can't wait to see y'all on my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I love all y'all. Bye YouTube.